so what is your job? I am Vice President of uh, Technical Innovation in PepsiCo. I work in our uh, Dubai headquarters office for Asia, Middle East and Africa. Okay. Uh, what qualifications do you have and where did you study? Very good question. Uh, I'll tell you where I studied and you can decide that I have the qualifications. Uh, I did my, uh, I graduated with a doctorate in chemical engineering and a master's in electrical and computer engineering from the University of Florida in Gainesville, which is in the United States, which is in the state of Florida. And before that, I did my master's in uh, Indian Institute of uh, Technology in Madras. Uh, now it's called uh, Chennai. That is in the southern part of India. And I studied chemical engineering. Uh, have you majored in any subject? Yes, yes. I, I majored in uh, chemical engineering. My bachelor's, master's, and doctorate are uh, in chemical and I did my research in automatic process control. Uh, how long did it take to fully complete your studies? It took too long. <laughs> it took, uh, you know, as you know, uh, you know, bachelor's program is usually four years. Uh, and uh, uh, my PhD was four and a half years. It was uh, more than four, less than five. So call it four and a half. So you know, I was in uh, school for quite a while. Uh, so, what was your first job at the university? First, I actually, right out of uh, when I finished my uh, uh, studies in IIT, I, I went to work for a company in India. It's an engineering consulting company called Lawson and Tubro. Uh, but then, about uh, six months later, I got a fellowship in uh, in Florida. So, I came to I went to the United States for my doctoral uh, degree. And when I finished that, I joined PepsiCo. Uh, so, what, so in your first job, what did you do daily? Let me talk about PepsiCo. Um, when I joined there, I joined as a research engineer. So basically, my job was to design new processes, um, you know, to make new products. And basically, it is about let's say that you get a potato and then the potato chip comes out. All the things that happen in between, you know, that's called process engineering, and that's what I did. Okay. So, uh, what do you like about your job? I like a lot of things about me. Uh, first thing I like is the uh, people I work with. I think, uh, you know, more than anything else, uh, that is very important. The quality of the company you work in, the quality of the people you work in. Uh, because you spend, uh, end up uh, spending a lot of time uh, at work. So, you better like the people you work with. That's the first point. The second point is the work I do does make a difference. Uh, because I think uh, for most people having a you know a snack or or a or a drink like uh, Pepsi or Mountain Dew or Mirinda, uh, you know, or a Tropicana orange juice we make, it is is a nice treat. You know, people enjoy having that. So I think it gives me really pleasure. Uh, in what I work on, I can see not only in the shelf uh, in in the stores around the world, but also in our consumers' homes. You know, every Pantry in every kitchen in every part of the world has products we make, and from the time you get up to the time you go to sleep, uh, you know we make products for every occasion and for everybody, whether it is a man or a woman or a child or you know or a middle-aged person. So those are the things uh, that makes me think that what I do you know makes a difference. It gives a lot of pleasure for people. We also have a huge part of the business that is uh, good for you. You know, as I, you know, myself, you know, as I get older, I watch what I eat, and uh, I every day I eat uh, Quaker oatmeal. I have a glass of orange juice. You know, I mean, those are the products we make, and I work on them. Uh, you know, bringing up with, you know, coming up with new products uh, that give more variety and more experience. That's what I love. About nature. So, how do you think it benefits the society? Or... In many ways. Uh, first of all, I think uh, PepsiCo particularly. Uh, cares deeply about how it uh, you know benefits society. We have something called as performance with purpose, and uh, you know most companies like ours have to perform for the stakeholders, which in our case are people who own the company through buying shares in the stock market. But those are not the only stakeholders. We also have 
you know, uh, the people who we employ. We also have people we work with in terms of buying raw materials from and selling finished goods. And more importantly, we also have a responsibility for the environment. And that is why when we look at performance with purpose as an umbrella, we really care about the products we make and how it you know, benefits and impacts the people who consume them. We deeply care about the environment because every bag we make, every can we make, you know, we want to encourage recycling. We want to use very little of the products, or, you know, very little of the raw materials that go into the product so we don't waste anything. So we need to reduce the amount of water we use. We need to reduce the amount of electricity we use. And we also, you know, think about reusing what we can reuse. So it is about reducing, reusing, and recycling, all for the benefit of the environment. And clearly the third part is, you know, we have 250,000 employees in PepsiCo. That means a quarter million families have a great life, a quality of life, uh, you know, through our, our employment in our company. So these are the ways in which we seek to benefit the society. It's not just about the profit, it is about impacting the society positively as well. Obstacles you face while doing it? That's a very good question. Uh, I think some of the obstacles we face, first of all, uh, I wouldn't call them obstacles, I'd call them challenges to work, right? For example, anytime we come up with a new product, it has to be very tasty because would you eat anything that is not tasty? You won't, right? Uh, and it's the same, same uh, you know, at every age and at uh, every country. So first it has to be very tasteful, but that is not that much of a challenge. We have the world's best food scientists and food engineers working with us, so we'll figure it out. But the more important challenge is to make it at a price that people can afford. And that is not that easy, right? Because, uh, you know, you have to make it and move it and sell it. And at the end of it, our, our shareholders should also make a profit. That is a big challenge. The third layer of challenge, I would say, is really the biggest challenge, is many times we have to generate new technology. We have to disrupt technology. We have to discover new technology in order to make the products we make and still have the least impact on the environment. And I think that is a technological challenge and that is where people like me uh, come into play because we have to design products, design processes that convert raw materials into great tasting products at an affordable price and that doesn't impact the environment negatively. That is the biggest challenge. It's a big pleasure to talk to you.